Day 56 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day number 74 in the Eastern Pacific. It's July the 26th and we currently have two storms active, Tropical Storm Flossie in the Eastern Pacific moving out to sea and Tropical Storm Dorian which is in the Atlantic, currently a 60 mile per hour storm, Flossie is at 45. Um, currently two invests as well in the Pacific, the Western Pacific, invest 90W and 91W both active at the moment, 90W very close to the Chinese coast and 91W just east of the Philippines right now, are both the middle low chance development at the moment but that may change as time goes on. So Flossie's moving off to the uh, west northwest as well, that could um, move towards Hawaii in the next few days um, as it weakens in the uh, Pacific as water temperatures get cooler and whatnot. Uh, but at the moment Flossie is likely to strengthen, um, it has strengthened from 40 miles per hour earlier, more on that in a moment anyway. Um, and in the Atlantic Ocean we have Tropical Storm Dorian which is moving towards the uh, west northwest at the moment, more west than northwest but um, and we also have um, uh, another investor formed earlier, 99L, which has been declassified very recently in the past hour or so. That's that uh, little blip there uh, in the uh, northwestern uh, Atlantic. The Indian Ocean remains quiet as usual um, for this time of year. Um, not too much to be said here, not too much going on here in terms of development or any storms that look like developing over the next two days or so. Looking at the current sea surface temperatures then, uh, the waters off the Mexican coastline in particular remaining very warm, around 30 degrees, especially near the Mexican coastline. Um, in the Atlantic, waters remaining warm here as well. Um, where Dorian is headed, um, if it hasn't already, the waters will be getting more favourable as it moves towards the west, so um, that may give it more chance of development on that any moment anyway. Um, and also in the western Pacific, waters remaining warm here, very warm off the coast of the uh, Philippines, especially on the uh, South China Sea coast, where temperatures are around 30 degrees near the island of Luzon. So looking a tropical storm Dorian then currently with winds of 60 miles per hour, pressure of 999 millibars as of 5 pm EDT July the 25th. Position is currently 16.4 degrees north, 37 degrees west, and is expected to move west northwest as a tropical storm, reaching um, or reaching the equivalent of the Lesser Antilles in around um, three days' time and then moving, continuing towards the west northwest. That's what it looks like at the moment, but models, a few of the models disagreeing with each other at the moment. Um, and looking at the current um, conditions around the storm, the shear map here, um, shear is weakening ahead of the storm, so that's obviously very good for um, development, though you can see a lot of high shear still going on near the Leeward Islands in particular. Um, it remains to be seen whether that will uh, relent or not. If it does, that will certainly be uh, very good news for the storm, obviously not very good news for people on the Lesser Antilles. Um, and in terms of the uh, Saharan air layer, um, it, things looking fairly quiet. There's a little bit of um, dust and debris ahead of the storm and dry air as well, but that seems to be um, not too detrimental to the development of Durian over the next few days. So based on this, these are my um, percentage totals, the favourability of the current conditions. Um, looking fairly good ahead of the storm, especially if it moves, uh, especially if it stays further south. Um, and it will probably move off to the uh, west northwest and then uh, conditions may fall off a bit but that's at the moment things may change in the next few days these are only the current conditions as you can see here in the path of tropical storm dorian um, and also looking at tropical storm flossie uh, winds currently 45 miles per hour pressures 1002 millibars current position 15.3 degrees north 127.4 degrees west and is expected to move generally in a similar direction towards the west northwest more west than northwest um, and um, continue towards Hawaii and start to weaken as it approaches the islands and probably just pass very close to the big island of Hawaii as a tropical depression or maybe a post-tropical storm by that point. So looking at the satellite imagery then, the latest satellite from the Western Pacific, this is the past 24 hours, you can see 90W, the um, invest in the north, uh, northern half of the South China Sea, still going towards the Chinese coast, uh, probably won't develop at this stage. And also, there's been a bit of a flare up near the Philippines, and that's a new invest now, 91W, you can see it towards the end there, a bit more cloud appearing towards um, the Philippines there, east of uh, Mindanao. So this is the uh, latest floater imagery, this is uh, Tropical Storm Durian over the past few days, you can see the dry air off to the left in this imagery in particular, and lots of moist air behind Durian, um, but Durian's paving the way in terms of moisture for the uh, Central Atlantic at the moment, and that's uh, it's a fairly small storm at the moment, uh, you can see it's uh, core moving towards the west-northwest as of right now. And here's Tropical Storm Flossie moving towards the west-northwest, you can see the uh, centre of the storm um, fairly clearly on this imagery, um, certainly trying to get it act together as it moves towards the west-northwest 
and are succeeding a little bit at the moment, not too much in the way of bad conditions ahead of the storm and some strengthening should be anticipated. Uh, looking at the model runs then, the CMC agrees with that by the way um, and takes the um, it takes Tropical Storm Dorian off to the west-northwest following the um, National Hurricane Center track pretty much and then moving through the Bahamas and possibly into the Gulf of Mexico later on another strong storm in the eastern Pacific at the end of that run as well. The ECMWF is less clear as per usual it seems um, with a storm forming perhaps towards the end of that if the grid was not undefined um, but the storm um, uh, the uh, current storm the Pacific moving off to the west northwest and not too much to be said of Dorian it sort of got lost there the GFS you can certainly see Dorian on that one moving through the lesser until he's in Puerto Rico possibly as a strong tropical storm or hurricane and then beginning to weaken and eventually dissipate just uh, near the um, Dominican Republic coast the south coast albeit um, of the Dominican Republic which is rather interesting the Navgem model takes away the um, storm uh, flossy off to the west northwest and doesn't really do too much with Dorian moving through the Leeward Islands probably as a weak storm or maybe an open wave by the time it reaches uh, that region. The GFDR model is fairly in agreement with the CMC at the moment. A tropical storm moving towards the west-northwest, weakening to a depression and then moving through the Bahamas it seems. The HWRF is fairly similar as well, a little bit of more of a southward element towards the end of that run there, moving towards the Turks and Caicos Islands rather than the Bahamas as a tropical depression. Um, and this is the static um, tracks which show um, where all the models side by side of ex uh, expecting the storm to go. You can see the main consensus really is towards the west-northwest heading probably towards the Bahamas um, but maybe into Cuba, maybe into the greater Antilles, the rest of the greater Antilles or even um, the Leeward Islands as a tropical storm or indeed a hurricane. The CMC model in the western Pacific has a significant storm, we now know it to be 91W moving into the Philippines as possibly um, a strong typhoon and then moving maybe even strengthening even more in the South China Sea to a landfall in China. G the GFS doesn't really agree with that, moves through the Philippines a very weak storm and it sort of gets lost in the South China Sea possibly as a weak tropical storm before um, I assume dissipating in China somewhere um, according to the GFS model. The overall predicted season scores then a lot has changed and I have to say that Ken is now no longer in first place we're waiting for that day it's been going on we've been waiting for that day for a very long time because Ken's been at first place for um, since pretty much when it started but William is now in first place with 68 points Ken in second with 67 and Hurricane in third place uh, very nicely named with 66 points you can submit your own storm totals at the website forcett.com forward slash in Interactive, just click the 2013 Riddick season button and um, submit your totals and it'll be up on the um, on the um, on the uh, website um, in due course um, when I can be bothered to update it usually but uh, when there is a storm forming I do update it as has been done today uh, so what happened on this day then July the 26th in 1982 tropical storm Gilma formed in the eastern Pacific that one's pictured at peak intensity there in 1986 Hurricane Estelle dissipated in the eastern Pacific but it was near Hawaii that's why there was two fatalities and two million dollars of damages that resulted there and um, that's the picture of um, Estelle at peak intensity. In 1988 tropical storm Daniel dissipated in the eastern Pacific and in 1992 Hurricane Georgette dissipated in the eastern Pacific as well. Also that same year tropical storm Howard formed in the eastern Pacific in 96 Gloria peaks of the category 2 uh, typhoon near the Philippines resulting in 20 fatalities and 20 million dollars in damages in the Philippines. In 1997 Danny turned post tropical in the Atlantic and also in 1997 uh, Typhoon Rosie made landfall in Japan as a category 1 storm resulting in 5 fatalities in Japan. In 1999, Tropical Storm Olga formed in the Western Pacific, that one's pictured there. In 2000, Tropical Storm Amelia dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 2001, U2 dissipated over China. In 2002, Douglas dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. Derby formed in 2004 in the Eastern Pacific. In 06, Daniel dissipated. And in 2012, Tropical Storm Sciola formed in the Western Pacific. There's the very beginning of it, as seen in the Force 13 video that I made at the time uh, when we were tracking that storm. Uh, and don't forget, you can track any storm that forms at the website, force13.com forward slash storm tracking. There are two storms to track at the moment on the main storm tracking page, Durian and Flossie, and indeed the two invests in the Western Pacific as well. Um, so you can go onto the website, storm tracking. .html is the main page for the storm tracking where you can see the um, storm locations and the intensities at a glance and then you can go more in depth basin by basin to see which storms are, are going where and any warnings that are currently in effect in more detail obviously there are no warnings in effect at the moment though that may be required down the road if Dorian uh, makes a close approach to the Lesser Antilles and indeed the Leeward Islands and the Greater Antilles eventually as it may be the case um, and also Flossie may pose a bit of a threat to Hawaii but I don't believe there would be any uh, warnings required for that one. Uh, and also the social pages, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, Force13 is on all three of those, just um, search them, you should find them easily enough. 
and uh, please do show your support by doing the usual engagement procedures, uh, liking, following, favouriting, subscribing, commenting, anything else that you can think of that I usually forget um, when I do this part of the narration. But um, please do so, and I very much appreciate anything that does come in. Um, and if you want to send them a comment on a question, um, just go to the um, just go underneath this video in the comment section or indeed send a private message or you can discuss it with other users on this new storm discussion forum that launched on the website force13.com um, where you can discuss the current storms that are going on or indeed anything else storm related or weather related um, I very much hope that you do do so um, but that's all for now the uh, next bulletin will probably not be in its um, current form it will because I'll, I'll be away um, it will probably be in the form of a narrated bulletin with me just standing there next to a computer because um, I don't have the editing software where I'm going but it probably will come in at the usual time around midnight UTC on the morning of Saturday July 27th